In this video, we will learn how to set up an add-on in Pabli subscription billing. The process is very easy, so let's get started. So to begin the process, you should know that this is my product, Red Kitten Salon, and it has two plans, quarterly plan and monthly 33. So I'm going to put add-ons in the checkout pages. So to begin the process, just click on add-ons. Okay, here click on add add-ons. Now before we start working, we need categories. So we have a button called add add-on category. Click this. Now since uh, my product is related to uh, uh, beauty salon beauty products, I'm going to create an add-on category as uh, nail polish. That's the extra add-on we have. Nail polish. Then click on submit. Okay, so a category called as nail polish has been added. Then if you want more categories, just click here, add category. Now, second category is uh, hair treatment. Basically, these are all extra things. Submit. Okay, so in case if you want more category, just click here. So, uh, this time we want uh, face wash. Then click on submit. Okay, so basically we have added three categories. So we are now ready to uh, add an add-on. So just click here. Now we are going to create an add-on name. The name of the add-on is uh, Celestial Diva. Okay, that looks good. Now as far as the add-on code is concerned, it will automatically get added. As you can see, now it comes the add-on category. We can choose one of the add-on categories. I'm interested in, let's say, hair treatment. Of course, you can add more add-on categories according to your choice. However, in case if you don't add any categories, the add-on will be still present on the checkout page, but it won't be a part of any category. That's all. Okay, so that's the meaning of uncategory. Now, the price, I'm going to keep it as 60. Now comes the billing of the add-on. So the billing of the add-on will work according to the billing cycle of the plan. Suppose you have a monthly recurring plan and a yearly add-on associated with that plan. Then on the checkout page of the monthly plan, the amount of yearly add-ons will be divided by 12. That is, one year is equal to 12 months. And that amount will be billed if the customer chooses the particular add-on. So let us understand from a live example. Suppose uh, you are selling a monthly plan. So this plan is of $50. You have an add-on. You have added an add-on for this product. And this add-on is of yearly billing cycle of $60. So when you open the checkout page of this plan, the plan amount will display as $50 and then the add-on amount will be displayed as $5 per month. That is 60 divided by 12 is equal to 5. So basically it means in case if you are using the add-on, the priority will be given to the billing cycle of the plan. So the same will be applied in case of vice versa, like for the yearly plan and the monthly add-on. The add-on amount will be multiplied by 12 and then displayed on the checkout page. Easy? Okay. So the price is kept as 60. The billing cycle is kept as one time. The add-on status is active. Now I'm going to select a plan. I'm interested in this particular plan called as the monthly 33. Okay. So I have selected the plan. Then click on save. Okay. So as you can see, uh, an add-on has been added. So the name of the add-on is uh, Celestial Diva. The category is hair treatment. This is the price and this is the one time. So when we click on this uh, three dots, three vertical dots, you have the choice to re-edit it or delete it. Okay. So how about we work on this uh, add-on on real time example? So let's go to plans. So this is the plan that add-on has been installed. As you can see, it is showing the add-on. So just have a look at the checkout page. Now imagine this, a customer is using the checkout page to complete his purchase. So as you can see, we have the add-on called as hair treatment. Now uh, the total amount of the plan is $50. Okay, so if we click on the add-on, it increases to $110. Okay, so basically we have added the add-on. So now the customer, that is me, is going to fill in the details. So this is the email address of the customer. And this is the company of the customer that, where he works in or where or which he owns. So this is the billing address which has been auto-filled. Then the customer is going to fill in the payment details. Then he is going to enter the CVV. Then click on checkout. Okay, so a purchase has been made by a customer called as Aaron Manuel with the email address aaronmanuel1991 at gmail.com. So let's have a look at the email notification. So we are going to look into the email notification of the customer. So this is the email notification and uh, this is how it's uh, 
this is how it looks like and as you can see an add-on has been added that is celestial diva worth of 60 dollars now since you are a merchant you may be interested how to see the workings of the add-ons so let's have a look at this part called as invoice click here okay so this is the recent transaction just click the invoice so as you can see uh, in the star holding this is the invoice and uh, the, in the description it is showing the add-on called as celestial diva okay that is quantity one and uh, since the unit cost of the pan is fifty dollars and this is the additional add-on of sixty dollars okay so okay so there is one more method let's go to subscription and then click here and then as you can see in the subscription also you can see the add-on okay so let's have a look at the products once again go back to add-ons so this is the add-on we have installed if you want to install more add-ons you can proceed with the same method but in case if you have any doubt contact us at admin at the rate pabli.com our dedicated team members will help you to sort out your issues so thanks